How do you capture two of Nollywood's best in one? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you been though? Have you been? <laughs> has work, has family? Oof. Work has been work. Mm -hmm. It's been working. How do you say that thing? <laughs> it's working. Work <laughs> and work yeah, is but, working. Uh, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been interesting. Family has been awesome. I just mm -hmm. got back from. Yeah, your holiday. Yeah, mm -hmm. holiday. Uh, I know you were fully refreshed. You were blowing up IG with your pictures. Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, be like this. Really? You yeah, you know you have. You can just be you yourself. Know, you can't no, be no, like this. Uh, yeah, you inspire me, man. Wow. You inspire me, I okay. You know. Jamie, I've known you for years. I've I've known you from the from the from the moment you started acting. And the very <laughs> first from the inception the of first time of, yeah, of your camera. camera came on in front of me Absolutely. on the film set. I was there. You were there. Exactly. You were and my director. I was your director. Interesting. Yeah. Fun fact. Um, <laughs> so so now what I what I'd like to find out, I mean I, I know you are an acting powerhouse, but what I'd like to find out is what is the weirdest comment a fan has made about your acting? On social media. Yes, on social media. So that can act. Huh? So that can act. They've said that to you on yeah, social media. Yeah, yeah. What do you think is the major challenge for actors in Hollywood? I think actors are one not being paid enough, but on, that's on the other on the other hand, on, on the one hand, uh -huh. um, and that's an external thing. And then on on our side, are not financially literate enough to use what we do have. You know, and maximize it. You know, for to protect ourselves you know, for for the future, or to guard against and hedge against the future. I, I get that. I, I also think that um, the industry doesn't the, the way the industry works. It doesn't provide enough for the actor to work with. Right. And, financially? Um, no, no. Um, I, I'm saying generally now, both financially and otherwise. Time, for example, I don't think actors are given enough time. To prepare. To prepare. Oof. I don't think act even to prepare to work on themselves. I was about eight years old when I got on set for the first time Ooh, for a TV okay. commercial Ooh. with Shola Shubawale, no way, Kule Bantefa as my parent. What? Yes. And I remember there were three kids with the parents, and the other kids just weren't getting it. They eventually gave me all the children's lines. Wow. And I would never forget. And I, I guess I delivered. What was the name of the commercial? I, it was it was a family planning commercial. Uh, thinking back to that time, I'm like, and I remember that there was something there. Mm. This was when I was making that very crucial decision to live mm. a very good paying job, oh, like you know, it. to pursue a career as an actor. Um, and then I think I think it was, I can't remember, was it 2010? 2010. 2010. Mm -hmm. Random company. I was selling my mother's cupcakes that year. <laughs> on Baker's World. Mm -hmm. And I would carry the cupcake, go to different um, retailers. Mm -hmm. I got into a conversation with the, the shop owner's son, who happened to be an engineering student as well. So we got beside, ah, engineering, engineering, what else do you do? You know? Um, and then I go, yeah, I, I do a little bit of acting. This is coming from church. Mm -hmm. so I spent a lot of time doing acting in church. And I said, oh, I have a few friends who studied, you know, filmmaking in Texas or something, and they're in Nigeria, they're trying to produce a film. That would you like to go to the audition? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Now, what I didn't realize was that all the years I spent doing stage plays in church, that I was honing a skill. I didn't realize. This moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize. It's kind of like you've been carrying heavy things. You didn't realize that. And then one day you now go for a weightlifting competition. And like, yeah, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. This. So I get on, I get on stage that day. And they gave me the line. I was on the other side. So I was I was one of the I'm guessing uh, to you. I'm guessing <laughs> to you. And and then I give the performance of my life. Um, and I could see they were impressed. And then I I I, I start to leave. There's some other guys now approached me after my audition to say, oh, you know, we didn't have enough money to do our own audition. <laughs> so we said we should come and look at people that are auditioning here. <laughs> And that we think you are so amazing, <laughs> we'd like you to play the lead in our short film. So, in one audition, I got two roles, um, and one was for a Grain of Wheat, which, a Grain of Wheat, the short film that short I short film that he directed. He um, was the two skates that could not, <laughs> not do his audition, and, and got me to play lead 
And that's the first time I was going to play lead. That's how I knew that I'm a Nollywood leading man. Absolutely. And you did fantastic, man. You were, you were absolutely phenomenal. The first time I sort of like got a break, wasn't my real break, was some sort of break, was when I was in uh, college, when I was in uni, I got into a reality show called Ambo. What? I did. I got into Ambo 2 with OC UKJ. No. With OK Izoshi. I'm telling you. I was in Ambo 2. I came from oh, Mina. I came from Mina. No, I came, I came fifth on the show. How come I didn't like, know this? I don't know. I was, I was kind of young and scrawny and, you know. After the show, after the reality show, I had to go back to school, to finish school. Oh. Lost my Mojo. 10 minutes of fame <laughs> or whatever they call that thing. Went back to engineering, finished engineering, you know, came back. And I think my next little break came on Giddy Up because I was still an engineer right. working the nine to five right. when we both got cast in, in Giddy, Up. Giddy Up. I auditioned for your role. I didn't get, you know, his role. He got, um, what was the character's name? Ooh, Tokumbo. 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 He got Tokumbo. 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 I got for Larry and, you know, the bad guy. And that was it. The rest is history. That's oh. how we came together again. Yeah. And that was my first real break in Nollywood. All right, guys, we've given you enough to talk about, enough to think about. We've sparked up your lives. <laughs> this has been MTV Bay Sparks. My name is Damio Kolawa. And my name is Daniel Etik Effiong. And we are signing out. Signing out, guys. Mm -hmm.